Hello, it's Ruby, and today I'm going to be sharing another evening routine with you. This is my evening routine at the moment whilst I'm staying down in Exeter with Blakeney for just a few weeks. We have broken up for summer now, um, but we're just spending some time in the house down in Exeter. So I'm going to run through my current routine with you. I'm also going to share a Notion journaling setup that I'm using every evening, and I also have a tea time at the end with Blakeney trying a new nighttime tea. In the afternoons, I've really enjoyed spending time at coffee shops and working in coffee shops because my family home is kind of in the middle of nowhere and you can't walk anywhere. When I get in, I wash my hands, of course, that's the first thing I do. And I get myself a large glass of water because I'm always very thirsty. So after doing a little bit of work, I will head downstairs for like a late afternoon snack with Blakeney, we usually have it together. She's doing an online course at the moment, which is nine to five, and she finishes at five, so at five we will usually reconvene and Today we were having some of this Enchanted Narnia tea from Bird and Blend. So delicious, I love it so much. If you want to see us trying it for the first time, we tried it in the vlog when Molly came down. We've already done a tea test of this. Mm -hmm. Does it still taste like chewing on a plant? Yes, in the best possible way. Mm, do you not like flowery teas? Mm, depends. Because it's always such a strange taste to have a flower in your mouth. So for our snack today we had yoghurt bowls with granola, absolutely delicious. And just sat down on the sofa and caught up whilst we were eating that. Yes, um, if you watched my last night routine at university, you will know that in the evenings Blakey and I do like to dance and be kind of silly. After that I got started with dinner. This week I am cooking dinner every night. Usually we'll cook together or maybe alternate but because Blakeney's doing this course I'm doing the cooking this week. Today we had couscous, cabbage and some curry. I was trying to make purple couscous with the red cabbage. Here are a few other meals that we've had since I've been back. So in the evening, we've been watching The Queen's Gambit together. Blakeney's already watched this, but I haven't. And I can't believe I haven't, because honestly, it's so incredible. I don't know why I didn't cotton onto this trend earlier in the year. We're currently on the penultimate episode. Of course, I love Beth's character and the soundtrack too. After watching that, we will get ourselves an evening snack. Today we had some Little Moon's mochi, which is delicious. This is the passion fruit and mango one, which is definitely my favorite. Also, of course, we've got to have some tea. So today whilst eating our snack, we watched some YouTube together, namely we watched Molly's vlog which she'd uploaded from when she'd come down, and then I head back up to my bedroom. I will take out my contact lenses, brush my teeth whilst reading of course, Just tidy things away, make sure my room is clean because I don't really like to wake up to a messy bedroom. It's also like 10 o'clock by this time, but as you can see, it's very, very light out. I just can't believe that the evenings are this light at the moment.
So I will just quickly do a little bit of journaling here on Notion and I'm just going to give you an insight into that template now. So the first thing on this template is a section for what I did. Um, I will make a little toggle where I just run through the things that I accomplished that day, uh, which is just a nice thing to reflect on. And then I will do a daily diary entry. I didn't have my actual like handwritten journal with me at university. And so this is just a way for me to continue journaling because I do like journaling every day. Then the next thing is thoughts, which is just any interesting conversations that I had or like thoughts that I had, maybe mental health reflections, which again is basically the kind of less like plot based journaling. So it's more like emotional journaling, um, which I think is very important. And then the final thing is just jotting down one key world event. I do know it's just quite interesting to look back on to see how your diary entries coincide with what's happening in the wider world. But uh, that is a notion set up. Blakeney shared her one with me and I really like how it works and I've been using it and really liking it. And yes, after filling out that journal spread, I will of course read at the moment. I am reading A Room with a View by Ian Forster and then after reading for like 30 minutes to 45 minutes, I will just set my alarm, turn off the light and go to sleep. Yay, we're trying a new tea. Caramel. No, I thought it had a cool name, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. It's quite a boring name. There's nothing. Uh, hang on. I always tear that. I can't believe that actually came out okay. Wow. I'm very impressed. Look how much you've grown as a person. It's always such a treat when they're in the paper packages as well, don't you think? Yeah, because then you can like put them in your purse or whatever. Exactly, it just feels like quite fancy. Oh, oh it smells nice. Mmm, kind of. There's a strong chamomile smell very going on. Very and very honeyish. Yes, I was hoping for more vanilla, but I remain open-minded. Tag didn't go in. Smells of chamomile. Will it meet our standards? Okay, welcome back to tea time with me <laughs> and me. <laughs> and today we are going to be trying, as literally I've already introduced this, I don't know why. Chamomile, vanilla, and manuka honey. However, it doesn't smell very vanilla-y at all. It just smells of chamomile. Chamomile. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, it's so honey like. Oh my gosh, it's like so sweet. It's so hot, I can't taste it. I would have filled yours with cold water, but I know you like it scalding. <laughs> I do you like, like burning it. your tongue. Exactly, if my like, my tongue isn't like smooth by the end of the experience, then I don't want anything to do with it. Mmm, so it only got the honey. Mmm, it does taste sweet. It tastes like you've got hot water, put some daisies in it, and then put some honey in it. You know when you're ill when you're a kid and you always get like hot lemon and honey? It mm. tastes like that, but without the lemon. Yeah, definitely. And with so like hot, hot water and honey. <laughs> I really like that. That's kind of like, but I'm just surprised at the sweetness. I was not expecting it to be sweet. Yeah, no, same. Even though it's like... I don't really usually like honey. sweet, sweet teas. But. I don't know. It's, it doesn't taste like a herbal tea. It tastes more like a kind of... As we've established, just like a dollop of honey. Just like a dollop of honey and water. But again, is there anything inherently wrong with a dollop of honey and hot water? Yeah, exactly. That's very true. Just not what I was expecting. I mean, I probably, I can't imagine having this tea before bed. I mm. probably wouldn't use it as a bedtime tea. I'd probably use it as like a 5pm tea or like a kind of 3pm. You know, like you get back from a cold walk, you're shivery and then you go for this tea. But I wouldn't have it right before bed. So not like 4pm and not 6pm, but 5pm maybe, possibly. Maybe, do. possibly 5pm, but not 4pm. No, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like before bed you want something a little, like, less... I always want something more Flavorful. herbally. Yeah. Like, just camel by camel Nothing like myself. crazy. This is too crazy for a bedtime tea. It's 10 o'clock and we're having a crazy tea. This is... <laughs> How we spent our Saturday evening. <laughs> Wild Saturday nights. We got in at eight. And that was really late for us. And we were like, oh, I look at all these We were walking nice back people. along the, uh, we went out to Herbie's for dinner tonight. And our reservation was at 6.15 and we stayed till eight. And then we were walking back and we're like, wow, the world is like, 
Did awake. You never knew it was light at this time. Um, we're usually inside drinking tea and like watching the Queen's Gambit at this time. Oh, well, they can tell we're not night people. Anyway, thank you for tuning in to this segment. There'll be a break now of tea times. You could just have me randomly in my kitchen. Just... Yes, exactly. I'll send you a tea bag and then we'll like try it together and do or something. Yeah. Actually, that's a really cute idea. Okay. Anyway, bye. Bye. I'm filming this outro now because I completely forgot to film it whilst I was in Exeter but I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed watching, um, I am back home at the moment but my next two videos will still be university related. I filmed one study with me where I was preparing for my dissertation and then another video too. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you have a productive week. Bye.